Leopold. My name is Staff Sergeant Leopold Bopp, Army, in 1943. 20. What did your parents think about you getting drafted? Were they They worried? cried. Other than that, they, other than they said, go for it. Defend your country. Uh, what did you learn in your training? Like, did you learn how to shoot? Or? Oh, we went through all of the uh, maneuvers with rifles, uh, uh, submachine guns, and the whole works. Absolutely. That's part of your basic training. So, like, what is in training? Like, like weather training? and Like, weather training? Like, rain and stuff? Like, you have, you have uh, well, to train no. in the rain? Uh, we started out over at, uh, at Camp Cook, and then we moved down to um, uh, San Luis Obispo, and we started what they call our amphibious training, uh, practicing landings coming ashore because of the islands. We were destined to be going out there. So all of our basic training was taken care of. Uh, San Luis Obispo, San Clemente Island, uh, which is down around San Diego, I believe, and uh, uh, all up and down the Pacific Coast is uh, where we took our amphibious training. So as a staff sergeant, how many men were you? Twelve, twelve. A uh, staff sergeant is charge of a platoon of men, which consisted of three squads of 12, 12 men in each squad, so that would be a total of 36 men in a platoon. Did you make any lifetime lifetime friends in the army? Oh yes, I still keep in contact uh, with a man uh, with a member that was in my squad, uh, Woody Cothran. He lives in uh, Whittier, California, and we converse about two times a year. He's still alive, and so am I, fortunately. So, can you tell us some stories about the islands you went to? Where? The islands for any of the fighting? Oh yes, uh, this was, this happened in Pililu. Uh, the I think it, the Marines had initially gone in, suffered severe casualties, and then the Army came in, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, Japanese were entrenched up in the mountains. Do you think that would that that? But we never actually we were never in combat. We were right across the hill from the combat. You could hear the uh, the flares go off at night, the sh guns shooting, and everything else. But actually, we were never in uh, combat, to say. So, where is Pelilu? Pelilu is down, uh, oh, down around Australia. Okay, go. No, okay. I was discharged in, um, I think it was February uh, in February 1946, and. Uh, we landed, we came through San Francisco underneath the Golden Gate. Oh, they had a beautiful show. The uh, uh, hoses from the fire tugs and everything were showering us with water and the whole. Oh, they had a beautiful show. The uh, 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 uh discharge center. That's, I believe that's north of San Francisco a little way. What's a discharge center? Uh, giving you your discharge from the Army, sending you home. So what was it like after the war? After the war was great. Uh, jobs were plentiful, and uh, I came home, and uh, fortunately I had a brother-in-law who was in sheet metal business in Southern California, and I went to Los Angeles and earned my trade. As, and I went to Los Angeles and earned my trade as a sheet metal worker. And. Uh, after two years, I came back to Fresno, and I had been in the trade for 40 years. And I've been retired for 28 uh, years.